Hello everyone, it is the Feral Daryl that plays and welcome back to another Overlook Bay video. In this video today, we will be taking a look at some Halloween concepts all made by you guys in the Overlook Bay community. I will be picking and choosing through you guys' comments and seeing which pets you guys made, which ones are best, and which ones have the most likely chance to make it into Overlook Bay for the Halloween season. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Heads up, nothing in today's video is made by me. I am not that great of an artist. The best thing I can make is this logo right here. If you guys like this logo, comment in the comment section, new logo, and I will put this logo on my YouTube channel as well. Currently, I have this logo. It looks a little bit boring and outdated, so I made a new logo, and I'm putting it on my Twitter for now. Also, go follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. I have over 50 followers and looking to get to 100 by the end of October. So, let's look at the two people who I will look at their pets mostly today. It is CFAB. He is a fantastic Overlook Bay pet creator. He made so many including this flying eyeball and more that we will check out in today's video. And also we'll be taking a look at Porridge Plays. Oh my goodness, you made so many fantastic pets as well as we can see by this one, and this one, and these four. Like these just keep coming. There's so many pet concepts, and they all look fantastic. Which is why we will be looking at you guys' pet concepts for today's video. The first one I want to take a look at is from Fireboy Roblox, my dear friend who I have been friends with for quite a long time. He makes some pretty good pet concepts. This one is his oldest one, the Chocolate Meerkat, and we have been trying to push for this pet to be in game for the longest time. I think this will fit perfectly in the Halloween and even the fall season as well if, if it doesn't get added to Halloween. Fall would be great as well for this pet. Next up, we have a Scarecrow pet. The Scarecrow would be a lot better in the Halloween update. Uh, I mean the fall update then the Halloween update, but still this would fit in the Halloween update as well It's not on the scary side, but it's cute. Look at this pet Frankenstein frog. Oh my goodness. This is Frankenstein mixed with a frog. This is so cute Oh my goodness. This looks like the jelly frog from Overlook Bay Except it's way cuter way better and it's Halloween themed I sure hope they add this into Overlook Bay sometime this year now that is it from Fireboy Roblox these three pet uh, pet ideas are really great now let's move on to some more pet ideas by some other people we had to interrupt today's special broadcast with some weekly news this week we have the brand new cedar crew fall merch collection and it will be here in the cedar crew store until october the first so act now before it is gone forever at the start of next month which is when the halloween merch will be coming out thank you for your time back to today's video Starting off with cfab we have the flying eyeball pet. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I would love an eyeball pet in Overlook Bay. Yes, I know that may sound creepy, an eyeball pet in Overlook Bay, but I think this is fantastic artwork and definitely deserves to be in Overlook Bay. Can you imagine that though? A flying eyeball in Overlook Bay as your pet? Whoa, that would be fantastic. I can't even wrap my mind around that. That is so Cool, what a great idea, and you're such a great artist as well. Next up, we have another one by the same artist, Meet Baseball Boy. Oh my goodness, he got he got hit by a baseball at his game and is planning to visit Overlook Bay this Halloween. So even as a story to it. Oh my goodness, whoa, this is so cute. It looks like the Zombilly, but cuter, and it has a bat in its arm. This is such a great story. It's a New York Yankee. It has uh, blood from where he, where he got hit from the baseball. I love the story of this character, and I sure hope Mr. Baseball Boy will be included in Overlook Bay this Halloween. Look, he's so cute. Oh my goodness, he's a zombie that's a baseball player 
but not the best of baseball players because he got hit in the face with a baseball. Also, why aren't you wearing your helmet? You should be wearing your helmet when you play baseball, but still, that's okay. This is such a cute pet. I cannot wait, and I sure hope that this pet makes it into Overlook Bay. Next up, we have this, Honey the Unicorn's twin brother, Spicy. So Spicy the Unicorn. It looks very much like the evil unicorn in Adopt Me, but I think it looks even better. It looks like Honey the Unicorn from the Overlook Bay um, birthday event, but it's black and it has the red stripe. This looks cool. Honestly, I wish this pet was the rarest pet in the game instead of the Rainbow Rider. I honestly think the Rainbow Rider is way overrated and one of the ugliest pets in the game. And this would be a way better replacement for the Rainbow Rider because of its colors, its looks. I think this is just the most ideal and perfect pet for Overlook Bay. I think this is the best pet in, in all of these... Um, all of these art designs that will make it into the game. I do believe this one has the best chance to make it into the game out of all of the artworks that we will see in today's video. We're still rolling. Next up, we have a new wishing well pet for Halloween. Okay, this looks cool. This looks like a, what is it? What would I call it? Um, so it's black. It has orange spots. So it kind of looks like a caramel cow, I guess. We have a chocolate cow. And it's like chocolate color. This would be a good caramel cow because it's black. And this color kind of looks like caramel. I think this is a pretty good pet. No, I do not think this is ugly. I think this is a fantastic piece of art. This person said the hollow cow, like the Halloween cow. I think this is a good idea for wishing well pet. Yes, this is kind of like the banana cow from last Halloween, but more in the Halloween spirit. I think this is fantastic and has a pretty good chance of being in Overlook Bay, part of the cow family in the wishing well. So thank you very much CFAB for letting me use your pets for today's video. Now all credit goes to you. I am not taking the credit for this. So all credit goes to you and everyone watching this video go follow him. He is such a fantastic artist and very 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 underrated. I sure hope all of your pets make in Overlook Bay. They are so fantastic. Next up, we're here with Porridge Plays. So Porridge Plays is another fantastic um, YouTuber and has a YouTube channel as well and also has so many fantastic uh, ideas including this one right here. Uh, this is my second Star Creator Halloween pet. This is the newest edition Meet Zombie Bunny for Halsey. So congratulations to you. Um, he made a pet after Halsey. So this is what it looks like. I kind of like it. Um, let's see. So it's a donut and it's a bunny. I think that's just smart. Such a fantastic idea. Well, kind of looks like a Yeti. Kind of looks like a Yeti bunny with a donut. I think this is fantastic. This is just a little bite size into what we'll be getting in today's video by this fantastic artist right here. Next up, we have another Halloween concept for a creator. This one is for Lifey. So Lifey, um, this is Lifey right here. Oh my goodness. I think this is a great idea for a Lifey pet in Overlook Bay for Halloween. Oh my goodness, this looks so cute. It's like a little blob monster that's scary, cute, and delicious all at the same time. Oh my goodness, and dessert themed. I think this is a great idea. Hopefully it will come in the Overlook Bay for this Halloween. Next up, we have four more Halloween concept. So first is the sour candy apple. So the, the sour candy apple looks sour, looks sweet, looks scary, looks cute, looks everything you can say. This is a great pet idea. Next we have the sweet candy apple. Okay, the sweet candy apple, so it's brown and red. So this kind of looks more like a vampire colors in Halloween colors. I would say with the red and the brown. I think this is so cool and fantastic. Next we have the vampire bat. Whoa, okay, this is cute. So this is like the Adopt Me Bat, but cuter and better and more creative. Wow, this is so cool. I love this pet. And finally, we have the Spooky Worm. So we have a gummy worm. And basically, the gummy worm has a Halloween shell on it, but it's not a gummy worm. It's like a ghost worm. This is so cool. I love this pet. And it's in the Halloween spirit with the uh, pumpkin hat, 
with the um, trick-or-treating pail. I think this is super cool. Hopefully this makes it into the game as well. We have even more. Now we have uh, the ghost dragon. So this looks like a dragon and it is ghost outlined. Oh my gosh. This like reminds me of something out of a Mario game but like a fan art from a Mario game of ghosts. Like this is super cute. This literally looks like a dragon but it's a ghost. That's the plot twist. This looks so cool. I love the glowing effect of it. If it makes it into the game, I think a glowing effect would be great. We don't have any pets with a glowing effect, and that would be fantastic fit for Overlook Bay. Next up, we have the pumpkin bat. So we just saw the bat a minute ago. Oh, but I like this one better. It's a bat with purple wings. It has a pumpkin outfit and a pumpkin hat and a cute little green bow. I absolutely love it. Next, we have the dark magic teddy. I even love the name of it. Oh my gosh. So it looks like a little demon teddy. I think that's cool. I, I know I shouldn't be saying that's cool to a demon, but wow, that is a cute little teddy bear right there. This also could be a good wishing well pet because we had the Cupid's teddy in the past. I think this would fit perfectly in Overlook Bay as well. And last we have the glow snake. Ooh, wow, this looks like the normal snake, but better. It's a snake with elegant green emerald green and it has these glowy spots on it and the glowy scary eyes wow this is so cool this is cute scary and everything that we need in overlook bay all four of these concepts we have another one right here under it we have let's see the first one is the ghostly axolotl this looks like the axolotl but ghost-like and it has some slime this is overall fantastic pet i love this a great ancestor to the axolotl or maybe this is a dead axolotl because it's a ghost Ooh, I didn't think about it like that before next up we have patchy teddy bear oh my goodness so it's a teddy bear they got lots of boo-boos and got sewn up and now it has patches all over it this is fantastic so it has a little bit of everything Frankenstein all the patches oh my gosh it looks so cute a great ad also to the bear family. I think that would fit perfectly in Overlook Bay. Next up, we have Mr. Goop. Wow. So this looks like sand, but man, I don't know how to describe this. This kind of looks like it would be in Pokemon. It's so good. Wow. This is cool. It's like a blob, a scary monster, cute. It just has everything to it. Next up is the Lost spirit now this just sounds scary and it looks scary as well but it also looks cute i love the ears how it detaches from the head and the arms as well that makes it look more scary and more out of this world i think this is a great pet for overlook bay genius 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 idea it's not mr goop it's mr poop that's funny well it doesn't look like poop i think it looks the opposite i think this is fantastic artwork all four of these pets are super cute as well next up more concepts for wonderwork studio this is just a bunch of halloween pets and ideas okay so let's look here so this looks like a little pumpkin squash thing i think it's cute let's see this uh, I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks like a dandelion, like the dandelion pet in Overlook Bay that we have already, but Halloween themed. I think that's a great fit for Overlook Bay. This looks like a better ghost car. Like we have a ghost car now, or actually this looks more like a monster car because it has like a monster face and eyeball on it. I think that's incredible. That's really smart and a good idea. This I don't even know how to describe that. That looks like a goblin. It looks so cute. Wow, that would be a fantastic idea for the game. Next up, a pickaxe, a monster pickaxe. That looks cool. This looks like a cute little spider, but a better spider than last year's spider. We have this. It looks like a hot air balloon. I think this would be a good car, a, the very first flying car at Overlook Bay. I think that would be great. Next, we have this thing right here. This looks like a ghost. But it has a point at the end. That looks scary and cute at the same time. This, I'm not sure what this is, but this would be a great gadget to have as the player. I think that's smart. It looks super cool and a very Halloween-like. This thing looks kind of cute and scary as well. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but it looks fantastic. Next, we have this cat-looking thing. 
that has a face of a spider. Wow, that looks scary. And all of these items can come in this cute little Halloween scary pet pod, which I think is cooler than last year's pet pod. I would love for the pet pod to look like this. And just like that, we have even more concepts by this same wonderful person, Porch Plays. Thank you so much for letting me see these pets and show off your great talent in my video. First, we have the twin aliens. Whoa, this looks cool. I love this pet. I think a alien update would be perfect for Halloween. I think Fortnite had one like that for Halloween a few years ago, and I thought that was a great idea at the time. And I think now would be an even better idea that Fortnite had one back then. Next, we have the slime beak. Okay, so it's a bird, a slimy bird, that looks like it would be from the bottom of the ocean or something. I don't know. This looks cool. I love this bird. It looks scary, cute at the same time. Everything that Overlook Bay needs. Next is the Ever Bloom. We have a bloom pad in Overlook Bay. And I see this is the bloom thing. And this is the Ever part. Not sure what this is. But all I know is it looks fantastic. Wow. I love it so much. And I hope that pet gets added to Overlook Bay. Next is the Chumley. Oh my goodness, this looks scary. This looks like it would eat me in my dreams. This looks, wow, okay. So this is like a monster that would eat me in my dreams. What a good alien pet. I think all of these pets could come into Overlook Bay if we have an alien theme update this year for Halloween. Next up, we have the Hothead. Now this is not specifically a, um, a Halloween themed pet, but I think this would work great for Halloween. This can sell in Arcadia Isle. This is like a little volcano about to erupt and it has crystals on it. Man, I think this is a great pet. This would be great for Arcadia Isle during Halloween as a replacement for the pirate parrot in that area over there. I think that would be perfect replacement for the pirate parrot. So a huge shout out here to Porch Place. Thank you so much for letting me use your pet design. So go subscribe to him now, just like I just did, so that you guys can get the full experience and see all of his videos as well and all of his new pet concepts before anyone else does. But thank you so much for watching today's video and thank you so much for the three people that let me use your ideas. And I do give all credit to you guys. So go follow them right now if you have not already. And subscribe to them on YouTube if they have a YouTube channel. But thank you so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye.